morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever you're creeping with, I do appreciate it. And today's a special one, it really hits the old heartstrings. With his untimely passing, Mr. Paul Rubens, Pee Wee, is no longer with us. And I love the Pee Wee's Playhouse, the Big Top Pee Wee, hands down, just an incredibly comical genius as a kid who didn't love his house, just the way his style was. Mr. Paul Rubens was quite the unique individual, and he actually played as the weirdo's lawyer in one of my favorite shows filmed right here in Portland, Oregon, Portlandia, as the weirdo's lawyer, and he knocks it out of the park. Classic Paul Rubens, and that's what we're doing today. We're doing some Portlandia filming locations, honoring Mr. Paul Rubin, better known as Pee Wee Herman. So stay tuned. It's a beautiful day. We're gonna do a little Pee Wee Herman reminiscent. Oh, and you know, the filming locations to Portlandia. So stay tuned. You might love this so much, you might wanna marry it. Just a beautiful, beautiful morning. All these beautiful clouds. We've got the Max going over the bridge there in the distance. And we are heading up to the courthouse. Like I said, Mr. Paul Rubens playing the weirdos, kind of the gothic looking dudes from the show, which I'll insert pictures. And he plays their lawyer and it is hilarious. So that's where we're heading next. And I'm getting kind of emotional already. It was definitely heartbreaking news that he passed. So our first stop brings us here to 4th and Main, downtown Portland at the old Multnomah County Courthouse. And this was not used actually in the movie itself, or the TV show rather, Paul Rubens as the lawyer for the weirdos, just nailing the part too. It's so funny. But yeah, this was actually just the front of the building in the episode, the weirdos are charged with robbing a taxidermy place. And when they're in the courthouse, they actually get a PA announcement over the, you know, the radio or over the, you know, the sound system that they actually have the wrong weirdos. So Paul Rubens, as their lawyer defending them, they come running out of the courthouse down the stairs. But this was actually just used in the TV show. It was actually not the actual location for the filming. The filming at that particular courthouse was done in Vancouver, Washington. So I'm not quite sure if the interior shots were actually used on the film, but I'm pretty sure they were just from the times that I was actually in the courthouse. I remember kind of the same, you know, way the courthouse looks and whatnot. But if you look closely in the TV show, it's actually not the Multnomah County Courthouse downtown. It's actually the Vancouver, Washington Courthouse which was kind of hard to find because I was actually thinking that they would just go ahead and use the Multnomah County Courthouse downtown. But as I compared some of the pictures of Mr. Rubens kind of posing outside on the steps and also some pictures with, you know, Carrie and Fred afterwards kind of posing some behind the scenes shots, I realized that that was actually filmed in Vancouver, Washington. Here's a look at the courthouse from this side. And as you can see, it's all boarded up now, so it makes it kind of harder to tell. But yeah, the uh, weirdos and Paul Rubens, they made it look like they kind of ran out front here, which is kind of camera trickery because if you look up top after they pan the camera down, you can realize that it's actually not here. But what's funny is they actually used a gym about three blocks up for one of the scenes. So it kind of confused me because I thought, well, maybe they filmed right out front of the courthouse but when I was doing the comparison shots of Paul Rubens and the rest of the cast they kind of run down a set of steps I realized the little set of steps here really isn't the same and in that you know particular scene the camera points up to the rooftop and you realize that this is not the right place so little camera trickery movie magic uh, you know Hollywood effects really making it look like it was filmed all in downtown Portland but I'll show you guys here in a minute when we walk up to the next location what I mean when I say it was all movie magic most of uh, the court scenes were filmed in Vancouver Washington they may have filmed some of the innards here but I doubt it 
Um, but pretty cool to think that, you know, Portland and Paul Rubens and all the tie-ins to the show. I also wanted to come and just kind of document the backside of this courthouse too because I wasn't quite sure as to what they're going to do with it. But yeah, you can see the facade of this courthouse is a lot different than in the show. Because there are some buildings around town in past movies that they've used kind of as a facade for the courthouse. All right, so now we are on Southwest 4th and Columbia. And what makes this spot fun is when they're in court and Paul Rubens is basically like, you know, pleading his case for Fred and the weirdos. And he's telling him, look, it's not a crime to be weird, you know? And he, he does classic Paul Rubens, Pee Wee kind of style, where he says, okay, I'm being weird. And he kind of does this little weird, which I'll enter that clip here. And then it says, he says, is it really a crime to be weird? I mean, we're in Portland. And then as soon as he says like something referencing, is it a crime being weird? You hear over the PA system, somebody kind of hacking in to the courtroom saying, they're not the ones that did it, it was actually us. And they come barreling out of the courthouse. You see them running down the stairs, which I'll try and do my best to insert some of those pictures. And then like camera magic, we come up here to fourth to this 24 hour fitness. And I believe at the time they probably had the camera up here on one of these parking garages or, you know, maybe rented a drone or whatever, or had a drone. Uh, but you basically see the rooftop shots of this 24 hour fitness. And uh, yeah, it's the punk band that basically says they're the ones that did it, robbing the taxidermy place. So they're basically like jamming out up here. Everybody runs out of the courthouse. They go down the stairs and everybody looks up. And like I said, with camera trickery, they kind of, you know, use a crane or maybe even shoot from this parking garage down and show the real people that actually robbed the taxidermy shop. And what made it funny is, you know, they kind of judging that they're gothic weirdos, they were the ones that did it because their house being full of the taxidermy and just really loving that place. But they weren't the ones, it was actually the punk rock, kind of punk rock band weirdos that took over the rooftop. Cops were called and they were jamming right up top there. Uh, maybe we can maybe we can climb up there and uh, get some of those shots from the roof. Let's see. All right. So I decided to go ahead and climb these stairs so we can get that kind of bird's eye of the roof here. As you can see, 24-hour fitness across the street there. We'll climb up a few more just so we can really get almost the exact location a few more got the creeper cruiser locked up for good measure obviously <laughs> so we'll go up a couple more oh yeah the next one should probably be good but yeah when they're in the courthouse Paul Rubin's scene is hilarious and I'll enter a little snippet of it just so you guys can see him all in his full comical genius. So yeah, this would have been out about it, right about here. You would have seen that rooftop in the shot and they were all kind of jamming on the edge here. Now in the scene, when they look out from the courthouse, I think it would have been like down in here, which is not actually the courthouse. We've got the beautiful Michael Graves building in front of us. Whew, I'm winded. But yeah, you would have seen them kind of jamming up top there, right on that rooftop. Pretty hilarious. And another pretty cool thing here, kind of ironic too. So the show Portlandia, this is kind of, I believe, where they got the idea for the name. But yeah, we got the Michael Graves building who constructed a lot of buildings, including some work for Disney. And uh, incredibly awesome building but if you look right up top here we've got Portlandia which I've shown you guys many of times before but yeah that's kind of where the name came from for the show she sits right here right next to where Paul Rubens and them were filming and then I saw this I thought was really funny too 
if you check this out they've got all these bikes parked here for a bike town and i was thinking to myself how comedy would it be if they actually had Pee Wee herman style bike to rent his bike was the coolest these bikes don't have anything on the old Pee Wee herman cruiser absolutely loved his bike and gotta love tim burton's music for the movie the classic breakfast scene where he has like you know his breakfast being made by some kind of booby trap system large marge oh speaking of bikes who doesn't love when he tied his bike up to the clown with the chain and like wrapped it around like a million times and it still got stolen by francis <laughs> but yeah i wanted to kind of just document this building too and show you guys the famous portlandia statue paul rubens character is like i rest my case you know and i love it when he's like is it really a crime to be weird and he does his kind of like peewee style comical genius i'll insert that clip here you guys are going to get a good laugh out of that the weirdo has always been an outcast an outsider a social pariah and a scapegoat being weird is not a crime am i arrested no weirdos are what made this country s-t-r-o-n-g weirdos e-i-e-i e-i-e-i-o benjamin franklin was a weirdo do normal people fly kites with keys attached no those are so cool dude we got cherry the robot mickalicka high -Mick mickahiney ho Oh, what was the... Oh, Randy. That's right. The little red-haired guy was Randy. All the characters from Pee-wee's Playhouse. And did you guys know that they actually have a connection to The Simpsons as well? Phil Hartman being the captain on the show, one of his very first roles. Him and Paul Rubens were really good friends. And E.G. Bailey, who actually voiced... Or played Dottie, she went on to voice... Chucky on Rugrats. So, really rad connection. Thanks for showing me that, bro. In my buddy Justin's house now. Good to see you, man. La 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 That's going to do it for today. If you guys are new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. That'll ring you in to be a creeper today. You can also ring that bell. That way, when I creep, you guys will be the first to creep. And if you did enjoy this, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Till next time, creeper out for now. Peace.